$600 a month for the Fritzel experience. Bargain. Hello and welcome to Crap Flat Bingo. The premise is simple. I've gone out of my way to find the worst rentals you can get in a specific city and I'm checking them off against the top estate agent cliches. If you want to play along, you can get your bingo card in the description below. This month, we're in Vancouver, home to Stanley Park, Granville Island, and for the right price, you. Flat one, $650 per month. Portrait photos. Just because you've turned the photo on its side doesn't mean it's not a portrait photo. I've not edited that, by the way. That's how it looks on the listing. Den for rent, 510 square feet. Where's the other 500 square feet? And why is this the only photo? Hang on, hang on. A wild mammal's hidden home or lair. Yeah, checks out. A murder probably took place here. Plug socket in the middle of the bed because as we all know, the best place to charge your phone is next to your genitals. Fire hazard. I can feel the bed bugs biting. Flat two, $800 per month. Welcome. Let me show you round. Blurry photo, overpriced, portrait photos, not actually a house. Here we have a fully glass door so we can see everything you're doing at all times. 50 feet squared, lots of natural light. Where? You're being a real tease with it. A lie in the description. The level of arrogance you'd have to have to look at this and go, yeah. The listing's complete is staggering. Is orange bedding a thing in Canada or is it just the cheapest bedding you can buy? Guess we'll never know. Flat three, $780 per month. I take it back, we now know the cheapest bedding available is whatever your kids are no longer using. Overpriced, portrait photos, furnished room or closed patio? You decide in the comments below. Either way, it's not actually a house and a fire hazard. You know what, just for the hell of it, I'm gonna count this as a child's bunk bed. Plenty of storage. Oh, come on. On. There's barely enough room for five reminders to get you to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're enjoying this video. A lie in the description. Beautiful views. Debatable. I'll let that one go. Loads of natural light. I mean, technically that's the truth, but one of your walls is a window. Overnight guest permitted. Why, thank you, sir. Well, if it's all the same to you, I'd be too embarrassed to bring someone back to this flat. Thankfully, there's a construction site nearby. At least someone's gonna get a drilling. Flat four, $800 per month. Am I sleeping on a sofa? Because this room doesn't actually look that bad. I mean, weird photography angle, but each to their own. I mean, it's definitely overpriced. There it is, a child's bunk bed. I've just scan read the description. They didn't use the word mezzanine, so credit where credit isn't due. Well done. How low is my bar? Female only roommate. Okay. I feel safe, mainly because I'm a few thousand miles away from this nut job. I'm renting out two beds for clean, professional, working humans. So it's gone from female to humans. This feels like it was written by an AI bot. And professionals, I'm sure you're gonna get a massive queue of lawyers wanting to rent this place out. Probably not, they actually said they'd only rent to humans. No, actually your house. Bills not included. Hang on, so there's two single beds and each are paying $800 a month for full use of the living room. I mean, I have to have full use. It is now my bedroom. But no watching TV after I've gone to bed. A murder probably took place here, but for the first time in this series, it was done by the tenant and not the landlord. Flat five, $2,500 a month. Solid first photo. We now know there's room to wash our clothes and take a horse bath. Fire hazard. Recently renovated entrance hall. How recent is recent? I guess everything's happened recently when you consider how long the universe has been around against the amount of time we've been on the planet. A lie in the description. Ample storage. Yeah, I think I'll give that one a miss. One bedroom downstairs and two upstairs. Is that piss or a leak. I mean, either way, it's a red flag. Not cleaned before the photos were taken. Two bathrooms. Did you run out of budget on the wallpaper or is it by design just a strip? A murder took place here. Hang on, there's a virtual tour. Should we go on it? I think we should. I can never understand why estate agents use the same annoying upbeat song for all their virtual tours. I can only assume it's royalty free. Ah, right, here's the other bathroom. Well, I mean, you can see where all the budget went. You can tell they've just recorded this on their phone and done no post-production or stabilization because if I just replace their song with the song Hello Zep, it does start to feel like a serial killer movie where a knife-wielding maniac has started to stalk you from room to room. Is that the downstairs bedroom? I accidentally refreshed the page and I swear to God, this was the message that came up. Couldn't agree more.